never done this before, but it's time to play L.A. Noir. Since one of those games came and went, and I never played, but now it is time to put our detective hats on, go back to the 1940s, and consume the crime of L.A. A city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city, based not on the man, but on the automobile, the car, the symbol of freedom and vitality. Where every man can own his own home, and have room to breathe, and not be overlooked by his neighbors. Except for the blacks, and the Mexicans. A city where a man's home is his castle. A quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. The city of opportunists. I thought that was New York. The city of dreams. Where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. And fake the moon landing. The city of pioneers. Oh, look, you can go to the casting couch today. Look, they got a line out the door for the casting couch. A city of undercurrents. Where not everything is as it seems. A 20th century city that will become a model for the world. A city that has no boundaries, that will stretch as far as the eye can see. In the Marine Corps, you deal Ooh, with the boy. chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for, that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the path. Or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. Boy. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. Can't trust KGB nobody. Call Not call even yourself. Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective an ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, go to. Roger, 14 Adam en route. All right. Here we We're go going. Again. They don't request We're driving, bud. For an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Ah. Ever the optics. This the is LA. I get to drive like an asshole. Himself. Oh, I didn't get to use the siren. I was too busy trying to drive. Floyd Rose, homicide. You might back up. Yes, sir. Phelps and Doug. Yes. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic. Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and Oh, you can't say that court. anymore. It's the witnesses, oh, a tall white right. guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? They Give called it a gat shot, back guys. <laughs> the dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we Damn. recover the weapon, bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. I'm You're supposed to be a cop, Happy Hulk Phelps. You're supposed to know what to do. All right. This is a fist hump. Just going through the motion. A fist hump. Probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right. Have it your way. I think I know what a fist hump we'll search is. Search right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. Two heads are always better than one. Search locations thoroughly for clues. Music will fade down to indicate Look that all clues have been found. Okay. Musical chimes. Alright. It's 
not my job to pick through other people's trash. Hold your damn face, boy. It's not my job to Dental. do it either. This is what I'm doing. What have you got, Phelps? Anything? It looks like a bottle. Somebody was drinking back here. Jesus. Cole, come take a look at this. No, I'm looking at bottles. Look, another bottle. I tell you, I'm jinxed. I always get landed with this crap. Boy, they sure were having a lot of drinks. We're never gonna find it. It's a waste of time. What backstories? Oh boy. Oh my god. Doctor Fontaine, could I have a word? Of course, young man. I really enjoyed your lecture, Doctor. Psychiatry seems to have a tremendous amount to offer. Why, thank you. I'm always happy to Why, receive thank acknowledgement you. for my work. You know, mind to my you know, deformed mind ears. Is the last great mystery in medicine. Are you thinking of specializing, Mr... Sheldon. Or Courtney Sheldon. I'm only in second year, Doctor. They fast-tracked me a year because of my experience during the war. Ah. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Battle fatigue and collapse under duress. Can it be helped? I would say yes. Given the right set of circumstances, trauma forces the mind to close down, retreat in on itself. We try to find ways to unlock the mind again through a combination of therapy and drug treatment. By no pumping off therapy are powerful patients. Tools. In the With right a lot hands, of values. Chill. I've been to visit some of the guys at the VA hospital. A good friend of mine. He's so far away. It's like he's wandering. You went through a lot together. Yes, doctor. Give me his details, and I'll make a prognosis. I have a number of clinics in Los Angeles, Courtney Sheldon, and your penance for your friend's help is to come and work at one of them in your spare time. With what little spare time a medical student has. Is that a deal? Is it ever? All right. I can't thank you enough. This is not a not trap at all. Cure, Courtney. I want you to remember that. Every physician has patients that he cannot hope to cure, for whom he can only smooth the path to death. Like smooth, creamy peanut butter. Oh. I don't think that's what he wanted to hear. Your friend is dead. We're just going to try to smooth that right over. Alright, put that down. This is my damn time. Pick up this bottle. Look! Another this bottle. Pertain to the case. Are you sure? We found like four of these bottles. I think at some point. We gotta think. Uh, something to those bottles. Alright, what do you got over there? I don't care right now. Heard a cat. Where is he? Got a lot of wood pallets over here. We can go sell at the junkyard. Oh. Hold up. I heard a clue. Ah. Oh my god. Mm. One of these guys mm. was painting. To us. You'll never believe this, but I think Bob Ross has something to do with this. Oh my god. Somebody wasted all this ketchup. Put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Damn. Hell of a way to go. I would Doesn't say really so. Doesn't matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, fellas. Don't know what you got until it's gone. Well, what, I, what do you want me to do, huh? What do you want me to do about this? Yeah, no. Blood stains. Person of interest. Alleyway. 
We're already at the alleyway, my guy. Um, clues. Bloodstain. There's bloodstain on there. What? Grape jelly. Or maybe it's strawberry. Mmm, tastes delicious. Alright, stop messing around. We got stuff to do. Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? A reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. I don't right. know, Ralph. Don't the, hurt yourself. The window was glitching and it just brought my attention to it. Oh my god, you'll never believe this, but it's the fifth bottle I've found of this roof, one right? specific type of drink. So we need to find a way up. I think we might have to go to the manufacturing plant to find out. Move towards the trap. We'll get there eventually. I'm up here now. Oh. What kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we are? Bro. We've got a new bottle. It doesn't tell me anything. It tells me something. Somebody didn't like those other drinks. Oh, cigarette butt. Hold on. I gotta come down from all this investigating. Why are they just sitting there like that? Hmm. Very suspicious. Alright, move out of the way. I'm actually a cop here. Vacant. I don't want to wait around all well, I would hope it's vacant. It's got all these busted windows. Is there a way up from the outside? No. I found a gun. My god. Smith and Wesson. Serial S71893. Write that down. Two rounds fired. And instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. How many drains are big enough to fit that? Okay. We should follow up on this now, before the perp tries to leave town. Wait. But the gun was there. How would he see the gun? Okay, that do this don't make any sense. Cole Phelps just supernatural. That's the only explanation. Hold on. It's dragging me away. Ah. We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. We could Show get a cake. initiative, Ralph. And see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. Boy, Cole There's Phelps sure knows nothing. I thought you are supposed to be an expert. Are you sure about this? It's what? Really our gig. Bro. No harm in doing some digging. I know what I'm doing. The suits didn't seem to give yes, much man, of a professional. You're such a little boy scout, Cole. Yeah, I know. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? I'm going up around up and or... help old ladies across the road. I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry well, too much. Well, I'll have you know I wish for that. Every day. I am awake. I'm right here. I'm running. Look at you. You're walking all slow. Look at him. Even running, he's slow as hell. Gun store. That's my destination. Everybody back up! Move out of the way! This is an emergency. Fuck you. Oh, get out of police car. Come on. Hold up. Oh, there's out of traffic. Oh, Jesus. Ah! Hold on, everybody. You good? Solid gold. I'm like an expert. Or dodge skills. Let's go down here. There we go. Take sharp turn through the park. And we're here. Professionally done. It wasn't suspicious at all. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? 
Smith & Wesson, Model 27 registered Magnum, chambered for 357, nickel plated with pearl grips. Oh, wait. Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. Yeah, I ought to. I sold it. Suspicious. You know, this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? Be my guest. This is about something bad, right? Well... Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. Uh -huh. You see it on there? Maybe. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Give me a second. We're in luck. Errol Schroeder, 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Oh, Thanks right. for the big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Yeah, sure. Your face is otherwise. I will be back. Those ducks. They look mighty fine on my counter. Do we call it in? No. Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. What does that mean? Ah. Alright, everybody. Out of the way. Official police business. Ah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. Well, there goes the fine people of LA's tax money going that to so place hard, that parking meter. Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One of a kind ah. bought locally using a real name? If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't, and that's why they get caught. Mm. Two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Uh. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. That's they right. Are cool. Ow. Oh my god, did you see that guy? Yo, we gotta turn back. That guy just vanished into thin air. He bolted into the into the bridge. We gotta go back and investigate that. No, they're they're shootings and killings every day, but not every day that you see a man just literally disintegrate into the ground. That's more important. Oh, I thought we were a little closer to where we need to go. I could go for a Cola King right now. Alright. Let's go. Schroeder. Schroeder. Try to pay Part two. Yeah, there's actually somebody named Jervis. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised what to know it? that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. Yeah? No. What the nice fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. Oh. Hell. Come on, dog. Huh? Got all these pictures of boxers. You even got a little boxing thing on the on the wall. You can't even throw a punch. Damn, bruh, that was a little Ralph, easy, a little right? too easy. I'm fine. I hardly felt it. He's lucky yeah, okay. he caught me off guard. That's why uh, I had to do all the work. Keep I mean, an eye on sitting Ralph. there on the floor like a baby. Take a look around. 
Hmm. What was he eating? Maybe he was eating Salisbury steak. And why the baseball glove? Hmm. Maybe he's got some shellac. Oh my god. Cigarette. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. Well, there was a cigarette at the crime scene. No, oh, it's the 1940s. Nobody smokes. Certainly a clue. Oh, a little green. Oh my god. Numbers. Mean. List of names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. And a cake. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Hell yeah, that sounds Call fun. Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. Lloyd. Officer Phelps, that's Such a party pooper. Oh, Jesus. The nine flashbacks. We don't even care about Nam yet. You dumb fucking sons of bitches, get in this line now before I lose my temper. Excuse me, Sergeant. Bro, we just showed up. Fuck you! Oh. You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for- I know why you're here, asswipe! I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. Wow. Even I felt that. That was trauma. You picked the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. But the force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a greyhound ticket to Palookaville. It could only ever end. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan. 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identifying code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from 14 here. Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger KGPL. 14 Adam on route. Oh, hell yeah. Oh. Gotta warm up the tires. Make sure we're not one of those too tight. You ready for a sharp turn, bud? Take it quick, you guys. The cops are here. We gotta move it. The mafia. Oh, Jesus. Open the trunk to retrieve the weapon. He's already done it. Oh. That was a two from a two I, do, I blew that guy's arm straight off. Come on. Did I get out of cover? Where are you? Weapons. Now that definitely would have blew his head right off. Try for the front door. Keep your goddamn head down. Use the cover, fellas. Look, boy. Come on in. Take it slow. Backup will be here soon. No. Don't need backup. 
I just blew that man straight That's to it? grape jelly. We got them all? I think we got them, Cole. No, I got all them clear. all. I don't think you did anything, but nearly get your head blown off. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotgun, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. I think you so dropped your weapon. Okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. I'm glad you had my back when I just ran in there and started blasting. Oh no. More flashbacks. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. You're really getting your legs it. blown off. It only comes once in a lifetime. At first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers... When you're crushing my dreams... Camp, Cole, they call it the well, Custer Syndrome. I'll ask for it. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty well, is General to Custer is going to have an Atari 2600 game later on about future? fucking women on a cactus while getting shot at by arrows. I want that. You don't understand how badly I want that. Cole Phelps and Jack Kelso. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, who wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Except he does oh, nothing. It's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. In my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bomb. Wendell Bowers. Damn. I put him away before he jumped parole. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Yeah, okay. You literally Wendell could just Bowers. do that now. LNTD. You can go screw yourselves. Leave it up to Floyd to do absolutely shit. dog shit. He's hiding in the alley. No shit. Run his ass over. Bowers, hold it right there. Stop now or I will shoot. There's a rack. I won't tell you again, Wendell. Jesus, start blasting. Fire. Don't want to do this, Wendell. Um, shoot him. Get down from there right now. Shoot him. Give it up, Wendell. Stay the hell away from me. Just grab him by the foot. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Never mind that. You've got to be kidding. You fucking ask for it. Look, I didn't ask for nothing. That was all Floyd. He just told me to start running. I started running. I've done my time. Apparently, you haven't. You assholes already screwed me once. Was it good though? Please. Give it up, Bowers. There's nowhere left to go. Oh. What an absolute like sucker. The place to ourselves. Oh, yeah. Now we can get back to talking about that screwing part. Oh! Ow. Come on. Come on, Phelps. Get him. An old ass man. Come on. There you go. End it with a nice head, but. What are you doing, Wendell? Your parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. Oh, you I bet he really wants that hole. Time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. So nice many work, indie windows. You run track in high school? Yeah, and I was also a Golden Gloves boxer, man. Come on. Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de corps. Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, 8. Donahoe, 6. Kowalski, 6. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 2. 
Leadership. Donahoe, eight. Franklin, seven. Merrill, six. Kowalski, six. Weiss, five. Hudson, five. Kelso, one. Canada, Kelso. Yeah, really put it on Kelso. I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in the schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now! Kelso, you're dog shit. Get out of here. For every cop, there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up, gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one goal. Oh my god. LAPD! Uh, could you stay clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? And put away your cell phone. We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Wow, what gives you that idea? Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. Well, leave it up to me to have to Broad investigate daylight. everything because, Broad you know, street. no other cops can do that. Now I've seen everything. Only Phelps. Everybody stay right. back. Let us do our job. Try to find that wallet. There we go. Ah. Bank of Arcadia. Hmm. Well, damn. Oh my god. C. Galetta. Playway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. Well, we'll put that just we'll just put that right back in there. No, what about that tie? A lot of blood coming from the mouth. I believe this, but uh, it's got fingers. Oh, Some blood on the thumb. Yeah. All right, all right. Yes, it's a dead person. Yeah, I know. And bullies. Shell casings. These look like 32s. Nobody will ever notice this. FN Browning. Serial number 01138. Store. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. You saying I can't make it there in time? This guy in the crowd thinks he saw something, Cole. You better take a statement. It was a busy ass Don't street, I would have hope so. Better to do? Sir, I'm Officer Phelps. What exactly did you see? I heard the shots. I thought it was a car backfiring. Uh, I saw a girl run at the shoe store. I want to see. Excuse me, officer, I want to see. See what? You want to see this fist into your face? This is the 40s. I can get away with it. Speak to the witness before homicide arrives, Phelps. Bro, I she's just lying, did. Don't be afraid to get forced. Oh. Verbally, of course. And don't accuse Bro, her of Bro, this is the 40s. Her. I can hit women. Shit. And if you're sure she's straight up, try the general approach. See what you can coax out of her. Tell me how to do my job. Stop honking! Let's get in here. Uh, can I, can I help you, sir? Uh, yeah, I'm... I'm Officer oh. Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. No, I'm here actually about the boots that I ordered on layaway. <laughs> he was my boss. 
Mr. Gage. Nick Gage is your boss? Everett. Andrew Everett? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. I don't speak Latin. Now you're 27 years old. Uh, miss, I think you might be lying. At least 35. Alright. Questions are listed to the right. Awesome. True store clerk, I witnessed the murder of Everett Gage. Do you think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. Bullshit! He pulled the trigger. Like lie to accuse a witness of lying, you will need to present evidence. Well, look at the way that you're. What? what are you trying to breathe air like that? I don't think I've ever seen anybody breathe air like that. All right, um, it's the layaway voucher. I know you're lying. I have this voucher here. All right. Well, I don't think we got any. I don't know. Fine. I believe you. And you don't know who shot Gage or why? No, officer. A man is dead, Miss Galetta. Oh and shit, now we're right, now we're yelling. Officer, I will take you downtown. Get out! Get out right now! Send in one of the other policemen if you must, but I won't say another word to you. Alright, let me go find that Kelso guy. He sucks. What? A book. Oh, circumstantial. Right. circumstantial. There's not even a title on this book. Ah, oh, wait a second. These were exactly what I had on layaway. What if there's evidence there? Alright. We have the murder weapon? No murderer. The girl saw it all, but she claimed Yeah, it was in the trash can. I found that already. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. Hey, he told me that already. Tate! Maintain the perimeter. Got stuff to do. Going to the gun store. Where to get? I hear one more honk. Start blasting. Back in the 40s, that was a legal turn. Out of the way. What did Use I the tell crosswalk. You about going too hard on the witness. She's a store that you could rough her up if you want. That That's what you told me. I'm just saying that sometimes. You need to pour some sugar on these broads. That's right, these old broads. A need a little Since bit of sugar. When are you the expert? We got the murder weapon, didn't we? You shouldn't dole it out if you can't take it, Phelps. She was a looker, though. Tell me I'm wrong. No wonder you're suddenly so obsessed with bedside manner. Uh -huh. Oh, it's not over here. Oops. Parked around the corner. That's okay. We can walk it. See this guy again. Officers. What can I do you for? Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir. Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple of weeks back. Remember the owner? Ooh. Yeah. 
Callow. Edgar Callow was his name. Thing looks like he'd never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Then he bought a box of cartridges and he left. You know where we can find Mr. Callow? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield Jewelry Store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help. Thanks for all this random information that you just remember from weeks ago. Look, if you're gonna run that slow, I'm leaving you behind. Alright, fine. Come the hell on! Get in the car. Everybody move. Out of the way. Whoa, did you see that? Pull this guy over. Get over. You're under arrest. What? You guy hit me. the way police business ah, quality meets officer can I interest you in a new watch officer Cole Phelps are you Edgar Kalu damn uh, I have to get no, all aggressive uh, mr. Kalu is out back he said he'd lie down I'll buzz him for you all right. Anytime they ever do that point thing, they're always lying. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! Of course, send me after him. Of course. Yeah, no shit. Thanks for your help. Hello, get back here! Random guy in a red shirt. I'd arrest him for that. Out of the way, bus. Slow down, idiot. Yeah, idiot. Too late, Kalu! What's the statue looking like? Yeah, super speeds. Yeah. Edgar Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. Another fine work. The case that makes you. And the case that breaks you. The one you never solve. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads, and the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may oh. grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. Yeah, I've climbed How a couple of uh, like a ladders before. How would you like this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, I'm sir. Have to decline. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling? He's gotta start going in there, Fine, punching sir. the sky. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Don't fail me. All right, confess. All right, I'm gonna start punching. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. This is the '40s. Lawyer we don't care about that, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. 
Let's talk about the shooting. Do you deny shooting Everett Gage? I'm a businessman. I, I run a jewelry store. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure my lawyer can clear all this up. He looked off to the side. He's definitely lying. Mm. How about that layaway voucher? Mm. You blew a man out of his socks over an empty grudge, you son of a bitch. Do you think I have sympathy for you? That's the way. Keep needling me. Try the rough stuff, and my lawyer will be making an official complaint. Yeah, well, dude. I just gotta keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. I gotta tell you about this. I failed. Point me cold, folks. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy! I need a confession! Jesus. Look, I only asked one question. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. Look, we already lawyer went over this. You, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man He's not going to help you. Blood. You shot you're that man in cold blood. And you're going to pay for it. Let's talk about the shooting. Let me again ask you the same question. I'm a businessman. I, I run a jewelry store. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure my lawyer can clear all this up. You lie! You deny owning a Browning pistol. Serial number 01138. I owned a gun, yes, but, but, but it was stolen in a burglary a couple years ago. You can't prove I used my gun on Gage. Hmm. You had the gun cleaned and bought a new box of ammunition. That's right. The store owner remembers you and where Stand you were. Is that so? It's amazing what the nebishes will recall when it suits them. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker! How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is Ooh. America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. Damn, how did we get to that point? Hold on. Um. Ah. Uh. Uh, wait. What? This guy is totally lying. You lie. You're lying, Kalu. I think you lent Gage money and he owed you payment. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm done with it. Go flap your gum somewhere else. I want my lawyer. I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. Oh We're my done. god. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. Well, I tried. Hey, I made it past the first question. Problems. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy! I need a confession! Look, I'll try again. But, uh, third time is the chair. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. Look, man, for the third the lawyer time, your lawyer's not here, Kalu. and he can't help you. Shot, Shot a man in cold, cold blood. blood. You're going to have to pay for that. You pay. You're paying for it. Let's talk about the shooting. Do you deny shooting Everett Gage? I'm a businessman. I, I run a jewelry store. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure my lawyer can clear all this up. We all know you're lying. Boy. Just confess. You deny Nine. owning a Browning pistol. Serial number 01138. I owned a gun, yes, but 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 it was stolen in a burglary a couple years ago. You can't prove I used my gun on Gage. Well, I can't prove that you used it, but you got it surfaced. You had the gun cleaned and bought a new box of ammunition. The store owner remembers you and where you worked. Is that so? It's amazing what the nebishes will recall when it suits them. Why don't we just throw the gun shop owner under the bus? Let's change the subject. He sure won't know to go back there and kill that Mr. guy. Colin? 
Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? I don't know how the Giants do it. You're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. You left-wing leaning parasite. You expect oh me to sit God. here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You damn you Democrat. You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy putt snatcher. Whoa. You and that stump Gage. Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kite this and Whoa. kite that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. If you believe in God, of course. A Jewish God. Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It only took you three tries in asking the same Phelps. questions over and over and over again. Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the Chief of Police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. Oh, nice. All right. I get a promotion. And an achievement. Nice. Very nice. We are moving on in the world. I think that went very smoothly. Uh, keen interrogation instincts. Yeah, I mean, I would say so. I've learned that all you have to do, really, is just continuously ask the same questions over and over again until they break. Masterfully done. Masterfully done.